This local sports report is presented by Source for Sports Cambridge, a proud supporter of the Cambridge Rivulets. Source for Sports is your one-stop team shop for custom team uniforms and apparel. They offer embroidery, screen printing, sublimation, digital transfers, and more. Shop now on their website at cambridgesports.ca or drop by their showroom at 1710 Bishop Street North in Cambridge. A major compliment to Maya Darcy, who was selected for the U18 Canadian National Women's Hockey Team that would have played in Sweden at the beginning of January. Unfortunately, Maya, COVID has changed a lot of things in our world, including your opportunity to go there. But what I really want to focus on here is what it was like for you. You had never worn the Maple Leaf on your back previously in your hockey career. Uh, when you got that call and they said, Maya Darcy, you are a member of the Canadian National Team. You tell me. Honestly, I have no words how excited I was. I was speechless. The They told me and I didn't speak for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I had to apologize. I was like, oh, it was amazing. I started tearing up, honestly. <laughs> it was just so overwhelming knowing I was going to represent Canada, knowing I have, knowing I worked so hard to get mm. to this moment and it's like coming true. It was incredible. What was the most meaningful part for you? Is it the fact that maybe you had the chance to represent Team Canada or represent your club team and being the Rivulets, or just like you said there, the, the compliment itself that they looked at you and your game and said you are ready to be a member of the U18 Canadian Women's National Team. You know, obviously a, a great, great opportunity for you that didn't come to fruition, but you know what, you can still take a lot of pride in just that selection. What was the most meaningful part? All of it, honestly, knowing I'm representing the Rivs, compliment to the Rivs coaching staff, how I've grown at the on the Rivs, knowing that mm -hmm. young children, girls are looking up to me, that I'm a role model to them is mm -hmm. makes me really happy knowing that people look up to me. Um, what would your message be to those young girls? You know, a lot of people are going to see this interview, obviously. And I think, like you said there, you know, hard work and dedication and commitment and doing things the right way. You're in a wonderful opportunity with the Rivulets, like you said. You're in your fourth year here now. Uh, what would you say to somebody else, though, that does have, have the same aspirations as you did when you were a younger girl? Because I think you can share that here through the 519 camera and send a really nice message to some young girls who have big dreams of playing hockey in the future. Honestly, just keep working hard, never give up. Uh, it's a lot. I've had a lot of challenges through my hockey career. Um, it just takes hard work and dedication, and you, you'll get there. Your teammates and your coach, you mentioned Jeff there a minute ago, but I think you guys are really close, and I think that's one of the things that's made the Rivulets successful in the last, well, not number of years. I'm going on probably a decade now covering mm -hmm. this hockey team. Um, you know, when you take a look at that side of it, what makes this group unique? What makes it special to allow you to succeed as well? You want everybody to succeed, but you know what? When everybody succeeds, boy, it's, sometimes it just comes together, doesn't it? Yeah, the riv, like the Rivs, it starts with the coaches, honestly. They make it a, a really good community. The, they pick good girls who make it welcoming yep. for girls who are coming in. The coaches just help you get better. They co are constantly working with you. It doesn't matter if you're first year or mm -hmm. fourth year. Um, they're always trying to make you better, improve you on, the, on, on and off the ice. There still could be something special to come. You know, who knows how the rest of the season is going to play out here. You know, we'll kind of really get back mm -hmm. at it here in the next couple of weeks as we start, you know, gearing up for the playoffs and that. But like I said, this is your fourth year. Do you have any memories that stand out for you just about, I don't know, best experiences or what is what stands out to you about being a Rivulet? Because you're going to look back on this probably in, <laughs> I don't know, 15 years and you're going to, wow, that was a long time ago. What do you think is going to stick with you? I think honestly just the family I made, like I've played with the last four years so many different girls who've graduated, who've mm -hmm. left, whatever. Um, I've made creative friendships with the, s the staff and even the players. Um, it's just like uh, probably one of the, my favorite, I would never want, I wouldn't want to be with anyone else. You look at some of the other girls as well, you know, we're doing some commitment stories here. You know, Courtney Rice going to Concordia, uh, Sydney Miller going to the University of Guelph, joining a great program there. You will go Division One this fall, going to Syracuse University. You know, I know you committed quite a while ago, but now that it's almost here, I don't know, are you nervous? Are you excited or what are you feeling? It's a lot of emotions. Definitely <laughs> excited to like move on and have another, uh, start another path yep. of my career. Yep. It's coming fast. It is. It definitely is. <laughs> It's crazy how long I com how long ago I committed, right. and kind of in the last like th two years, it kind of like I wasn't too worried about it. Mm -hmm. But then now that it's the end of the season, <laughs> I'm talking to the coaches again. Yeah. It's all coming back. I'm really excited to move on. 
What's the outlook for the next little bit here? You know, you guys really hoping to ramp up. How would you kind of look at the first half of the season, some of the strengths, some of the successes? Um, but you know what? If you're going to be there at the end, you know, you got to keep building and you mm -hmm. got to keep getting better. Uh, why can this team be there at the end, do you think? I think we click really good. Yeah. We're all like we all get along really well. Team chemistry, like you're saying, comes yeah. to mind right away. But what is it about the team on the ice? You know, do you look at the goaltending? Do you look at strong defense, you know, offensively gifted? What are some of the, I don't know, assets that you think are going to make a difference in the next little bit? I think we have really good talent individually. Right. Uh, we all come together and we can play and work with each other. We're all really good hockey players, very skilled, which really meshes really well. Congratulations on Thank a great you. career with the Rivulets. My, we look forward you know, to your successes at Syracuse. And I know the U18 thing didn't turn out exactly how you wanted, but I'm going to tell you, you want to look great. And uh, in red and white, wearing that <laughs> Canadian you. color. Thank you. I'm excited, yeah. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.